Hello friends and welcome back to Study Tonight. In this React JS series, up until now we have made 14 videos, and in the last video, I created a small shopping list manager application so that we can cover whatever we have learned up until now. Moving on, this is the 15th episode in this React JS series. So if you are watching this for the first time, please go back, start from the beginning, and you will enjoy learning React JS if you're a beginner. In this video, I will talk about the second hook. So we have already talked about the use state hook. I've created multiple videos in which I've covered different aspects of use state hook. In this particular video, we will talk about the use ID hook and what is the purpose of having the use ID hook, where you can use it. And we'll see a code example, an actual example of a real time usage of use ID hook. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So as you can see on the screen, I have a basic app.js file like we have uh, covered in all of the videos. This app.js is the main component in the React project right now. And we are just simply, you know, printing a hello React message over here. So what we will be doing is let's, you know, create another component. So the use ID hook is mainly used when we have another component that we are importing in the main app component and we are using it multiple times. So let's write the code first for the user interface. Let's create the basic uh, premise of the code example that I will show you. And then I'll talk about use ID more. So what I'll do is I'll quickly create a file for the second component input.js. And in this, I will create another component. This you should know how we do. If you do not know this, if this is new for you, please go back uh, to the video where I talked about the components in React.js and you will understand everything. Okay, so this is how we create it. I've created a functional component, I've exported it. Inside this, I will return. So what I'm intending to do is, I want to create a separate component which can be used to create a label and a form field. So what I want to do over here is, I want to, in this particular input component, I will create a label using a label tag and I'll have, you know, some dynamic value over here, maybe from props, uh, not maybe, but actually from props and we'll have a label, right? So that a label is created and then we'll have an input field and that input field will also be customizable. So the type will come from props, the name for it will come from props so that, you know, we can use this particular component to create different input fields and label and we will enclose this in a div tag. So whenever we want to create any input field with a label, we can simply use this particular component in the main app.js file. So that makes it useful as well. I don't want to show you guys an example where, you know, things don't make sense. Now, this is something that makes sense, right? If you want to have a separate input component and you want to use it wherever, you don't have to write code again and again for label, having a div, having an input field. You can simply use this input component and, you know, uh, the input will be created. So let's quickly write code for this. So what I'll do is I will create a div to enclose the entire code. And inside of this, I'll have a label in the label, like I said, so we'll be using props over here. We'll be sending props whenever we call this input component. Uh, let's do this props dot, let's say label. Okay. And below this, I'll have another div. So let's enclose this also in a div. Okay, so we have a label and here we'll have an input field type will come from props dot type and name will also come from props props dot name. Okay, so now we have a component ready, uh, which will create a label and an input field based on whatever value we provide while calling it while using it in the main app component or in any other component. Right, so let's try to use this in the main component. So what I'll do is I'll use input and that's it. I'll get an error obviously because I will have to import this import from input.js. I want to import input. So I'm getting a basic input field. Uh, now I have to provide some values to this. Uh, the value should be label, type and name. So these should be the key for the values that I want to provide. So let's provide it a label. Uh, let's say full name 
type would be text and name would be full name okay so as soon as i saved it you are seeing over here uh, my label is created and uh, yep so let's now use this particular input component multiple times right because we have that's the purpose of creating the component so that we can use it multiple times wherever i want to have this particular setup a label and a field i can simply use my input component so let's create another field this time let's have input type email the label would be email address and the name would be email so i've got another and let's have one more field let's say type is number name is mobile and the label is mobile number okay so now we have created three fields right and these can be used easily okay so moving on now what is the purpose of use id so that's what we are here to understand right now this the ui is created so for in basic user interface that you create whenever you have a label in a form and an input field what we do is we have we use this for attribute in the label provided some id like let's say user input and we use the same value as in the id attribute of the input field now this what it will do is it will link the label to the input field so that whenever the user will click on the label this particular field that is associated with that label will get highlighted so in this case this is getting highlighted right as you can see over here but the problem now is one thing is that as you can see over a warning so in react we don't use for we use html4 so that we can fix html4 okay now the problem over here is because this is a component and this component has a fixed jsx that we are returning and if i set a user input or a fixed value for this particular id over here this will be repeated over and over again for all these fields so if i see this particular field this will have the id user input for the next field also the id will be user input so that will not have the desired behavior so if i click on full name full name gets highlighted if i click on email address then also full name gets highlighted if i click on mobile number then also this particular gets highlighted because this label is getting all the labels that are having you know html for user input only the first input field is being uh, addressed as the id user input because id can be used only in a single html element right now that's a problem that we should think how to fix right now this is just one case where we associate a label with input you can have any other component with some identification associated to it and if you use that component multiple times you the component will have the same id right the html will have the same id so that can cause a problem now this problem is fixed by the use id hook so what i will do is i will create a variable over here and i'll say let unique id and i'll use the use id hook now when i use this use id hook what react does is react will automatically generate a unique id whenever this component is rendered so if the component is rendered multiple times each time a unique id is generated and we can use it wherever we want so that's how simple react makes things right so i just have to put in over here unique id and unique id now let's see if i we are getting any error no we are not getting error and let's see if this is working fine so if i click on full name this gets highlighted if i am clicking on email address email address is getting highlighted for mobile number this is getting highlighted so now because this is working obviously the unique ids are getting generated for each of the field let's see if that is getting done so in the first one for the label we are getting this r1 id and in the input we are getting r1 for the next one for the label we are getting r3 and r3 for this we are getting r5 and r5 now this is done by react js internally we don't have to worry about it we just have to you know simply go ahead and use the component again and again and if you want to add if you want to use a unique id for each of the uh, rendering of the component you can use the use id hook so that is the purpose of the use id hook right now there are so many use cases that you can use this with i wanted to showcase this label input uh, example because this is very common yep so that's about it for this video now you know how you can use the use id hook as well in react js so you should go ahead and use this whenever you have 
a situation where you want to generate a unique ID whenever the component is rendered. So I hope you like this video. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends who are learning React.js. And if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And yep, that's about it. So keep learning, keep watching. Thank you so much.